We live in an amazing time. The things we think that, okay, now we know what's going on, and then it's just disrupted and turned upside down. We had this all the kind time. of border between uh, the university and the industry, and I think it has to become much more flexible. Well, actually, the universities are grouping up much more so that they can provide um, a much broader solution to industry. But I think from both uh, sides, the, the, the culture has to change. Companies have got to be more market-facing and more customer-facing uh, than they are. And that's a hard thing to do. I think there have to be different paths to go back and forth. And uh, I think also in terms of then there maybe the idea pops up in the university and is further developed in the company. But then again, it can go back to academic labs and then get further developed. So I think it must be much more flexible in the future and, and I think there are now already signs in that direction. Yeah. Sie brauchen eine Kernmannschaft und zwar auf beiden Seiten, auf der Hochschulseite und auf der Industrieseite, die von der Idee begeistert ist und die davon überzeugt ist, dass Durchtricht hartnäckig ist, weil es ist schwer ist, ein langwieriger Prozess, weil man eben im Wesentlichen auf beiden Seiten auch einen Kulturwechsel bewirken muss und der ist immer langwierig. There are difficulties at the very early stage, what's sometimes called the front end of innovation, um, at the sort of seed, pre-seed funding, proof of concept, when, when do you transition between research and a small business and how do you get an investable package? It's not just the technology, it's the people, the market, the business plan. You need an incubator where young startups can do their grow, let us say, in protective circumstances, cheap rents and facilities and so on. Uh, after they move out, usually they move out after two or three years, um, it is nice to have a techno park so they can move to surroundings close to the university. So we're talking about a whole, a whole organization which is added to the university structure. It's very much about um, creating organizational structures within academic research. So people feel safe when they're doing, uh, doing research or when they're doing commercialization. So it's not that mixed all together all the time because that makes research managers very scared. We've got good later stage funding, beginning to get good entrepreneurs. We've got the bigger companies and the universities. But there's a bit at the centre, at the very earliest stages of growth of small companies that I think is an issue for both of us and I think is something where governments, as well, universities and business, needs to play together. So maybe we could look at that to get in the future. If you press companies a little bit and say, what's the key to open innovation? I think you get two answers. One is the intellectual property regime so that companies uh, can keep the gains of open innovation. But the second is talent. What they always talk about is getting the best people, be they scientists, be they designers, be they advertisers. Uh, and the best talent means open labor markets and it means being able to attract anybody uh, from anywhere in the world to come and work for you. Uh, and if governments put restrictions on the ability of companies to do that, that's going to not help companies 
uh, irrespective of how open or otherwise they are. Mm -hmm.